All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Old Mood Podcast, episode 54. 54, 54. yes. Yes, sir. Nailed it on the first try. Easy peasy. <laughs> um, I definitely remember to turn the music off. We're fine. There we go. Um, all right. I am your host, the Blue Squadron, joined as always by my conservative counterpart, Blonde Bear. Hello. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm Blonde Bear. Just TV slash Blonde Bear. But we're grinding all kinds of rocks to maybe one day get a merchant ring. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I'm living there now. Yep, yep, yep. As if I wasn't already, but now I'm really living it. All right. Uh, and my boy, Jay Coon. Hi, my name is Jake I'm an Awakening with the what, 765 gear score. I do a lot of endgame PvE content, such as Olens, the dungeons. I recently was able to successfully buy a pen demo off the market. That was me. Hello. Hi, my name is Jake You can find me at twitch.tv slash Jake VTV before the T. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> both of these guys um, are upper class, <laughs> is what I was teasing them about just before the podcast. Super upper class. Um... Don't care about it. Tax the poor, give to the rich um, situation. <laughs> Honestly, you just blame them for all your problems. So basically, they're Republicans. But, um, <laughs> like, but, so true. <laughs> so, our first subject of today is the new Jay's accessory hammer. Boys, mm -hmm. I'm sure yes. that you guys have super special feelings about this. So why don't we start with you guys? Um, what do you guys think about this? This Jay's accessory, um, um, accessory hair. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? Give me your thoughts on it. We'll start I with Jake. Most of us definitely did not anticipate it, especially after his tease after April fools or on April fools. Turns out we were the fools all along. Like the timing definitely subverted our expectations for sure. But, um, <laughs> You know, this is the first time we can successfully in, or safely enhance, uh, not successfully sometimes, but safely enhance without downgrading our accessories for the first time. Um, and another big bombshell was that it was sellable in the market. Oh my God. I heard a lot of mixed opinions on the hammer. Some were really happy that we could buy the hammer. Some felt that it should have been an individual thing. I was initially leaning more towards it um, being to be an individual thing but you know yesterday i was having this discussion with someone in my chat about how this could be disguised as like a silver sink and that kind of made a little bit of sense like you know you're not simply giving what do you mean disguised as a silver sink <laughs> like the worst disguise well, I mean, i've ever seen in my life they're not trying to hide it <laughs> are you kidding well, me you know, again you're not circulating you're not you know giving 30 bill to everybody you're circulating that 30 bill and then when someone uses it it deletes that 30 bill you know um if it disappears of course but yeah i mean silver sinks are important in mo economy uh to keep it valuable and so i was like i was a little bit more convinced that um the hammers sellable was a good thing for bdo i don't know what you, what do you guys think what do you what do you think blonde bear yeah i'll let blonde go first uh what are my thoughts on it on the on the hammer i'm I'm very surprised uh <laughs> this thing has been coded in the game for many years and we all thought it was kind it of actually, a yeah. crazy thing mm -hmm. uh the, you know them having like three black stars like a j hammer kind of makes sense is kind of cool um really yeah. interesting to see the accessory thing though because i feel like accessory is like super super end game because you have what's six accessory slots you got to rotate through instead of like you know six uh weapon slots you only have three of those right yeah. um i'm still very surprised i feel like the long long term is like grinding a bunch of silver to buy your accessory and then recently it's moved mm -hmm. more into like doing the debos to like grind and buy and crons and enhance uh, uh -huh. very very surprised at the hammer not really ecstatic about it because i feel like um wait really yeah yeah, I and I don't. I'm not excited about hammers. I uh, I I I like the progress of BDO being, you go out, you grind, you get the materials, and then you make those materials into the next tier. Having these artificial like injected skips kind of feels really weird to me personally. But you know, I I also feel like this is kind of a rich gets richer kind of scenario where like. You introduce a bunch of hammers and, you know, yeah, the you know, people selling them for 20, 30 bill. Ooh, yay, 20 bill in my pocket. Okay, but you're, like, basically handing some dude at the end game like, Debo's 
at Penn for profit. That's not true. I, I've seen... Uh, Jay, how did you just... Rec what new piece of gear did you just get? I mean, like, uh, it's a 1 in, like, 10% or 1 in 15% chance. Um, it's a 10 to 15 to 20% chance, depending on your stack. So the but rich I feel get... like when you look at the numbers, which they would already be hitting, I feel like the numbers have already added up that the value of the hammers are way outscaled what the actual price is, but they're going to shoot down in price because... We have a surplus in the market. I mean, we could we can get into more of that, but yeah, I'm not really excited about hammers. Um, yeah, I mean, Blonde's really only truly upset about this because he's been super RNG carried through every single enhancement. He's literally never struggled with anything in his life, not one time. <laughs> um, yeah, I've and never he doesn't the want. For yeah, thousands of hours. He literally I doesn't never, even I grind. He just stands in idle, launch like massless. I definitely and screenshots yeah, his character. I, yeah, that's all I log he does. in, I click, I log out because I, I hate video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he doesn't want anyone else to catch up to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. What that's you said was not quite conservative enough. I had to, to really Get drive it home. Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. I cannot wait for the comments. Um, yep. I'm going to be so juiced on this video. But um, I actually really like it. I think it gives new players. Um, <laughs> A really big injection of silver um so they can get about basically all their pens are done right away right they get two guaranteed pens um like they can finish their two guaranteed pens and buy vel's heart if they wanted to um with the money from the hammer uh it's doing really really well it's funny that um uh and then like again it, i would say the rich get like 15 percent richer um because like or like the fifteen percent of the time, the rich are getting richer, right? So like the like fifteen percent of them profited, but like a hundred percent of new and returning players profit from a hammer like this. So like, I strictly like it. I like catch up mechanics like this. Um, I also like it because I'm probably gonna sell mine. Um, to be honest, because uh, it's like unless it gets below a certain amount, I haven't actually checked the price on North America yet. But like, um, on EU. I'm definitely selling it because I'm a newer player uh, and I definitely want to get my pens finished. But um, are you surprised with the market shift? Because I think on EU, everyone expected it to go mm -hmm. really far up because there's no cron stones available on the marketplace. And it's currently sitting at min price with thousands of hammers mm. listed. Uh, is it sitting at min price on every server, guys? <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I it's believe so, yeah. Every mm -hmm. server. The, the reason why it... it it is min, even though the actual value is the max price, is because um, supply and demand. when you have so many people trying to constantly undercut, yeah. you're just going to have it massively listed. There are plenty of people that want to buy these hammers. There are people that have run out of silver buying these hammers. But because the the ability to buy does not meet the, the supply because they literally gave every single person uh, a hammer, um, you're going to mm -hmm. see this massive surplus that you just literally can't out buy. And as time goes on, they're going to get bought out as more and more people accumulate more silver. And then it's going to shoot to max price because it is a limited supply Correct. and it's going to max out and be on pre-order. So if that... you care about silver or investment or anything, you really shouldn't sell. But the problem is that it's a, it's a trap because as a new player, you're going to sell because that even, even 20 bill, even 30 bill right now would be huge in your pocket. But it's a friggin' mm -hmm. trick. Uh, the idea would be yeah. to save it and wait for it to double, but you're not going to because, arguably, depending on how much you grind and the time that you could grind, you could make up that silver difference if you were to get the money now, so you could buy an upgrade now. It's, it's a, it's a trap all the way around. Um, I, I sincerely agree with that. There are people in the um audience saying, well, it's because they're at min price because they can't be used on devil rings. No, that's not it at all. That's not even close to it. Um, it's that. Everyone on the server got their hammer exactly the same time. And so the supply is extremely high for an item mm -hmm. whose demand is relatively small, to be honest with you. I mean, think about the practicality of the item. Is it really cool to enhance an accessory without crown stones, without downgrading? Absolutely. However, the amount of cost that you're spending on that makes this item really only worthwhile on the most end game of end game accessories. Namely, Debo's, yeah. if you're, yeah, if your accessory doesn't begin with the word letters D E B O in that order, uh, you're not <laughs> using this uh, item on it. Period. I've seen people use it on accessories that start with T U N G A R G R A T. <laughs> oh no, they're stupid. I, I, no, they didn't. I'm like, if you sold the hammer, you could have bought three of those and yeah. then attempted. <laughs> 
I was like so I was like baseball no don't do that. please tell me it got clipped man I would hmm I would eat um I would eat <laughs> Uh, if I got to see that, uh, although I'll be honest with you, you know, the best content is using it on Tuval. <laughs> I don't, can you, I don't think you can use it on, on, on just Tuvalu use it on a Sissel's right? necklace and watch the chat <laughs> literally just lose their minds. Like, oh man. Easy. You know what I mean? Um, but so, like, so, oh, go ahead, bro. How, how do you guys, okay. So we say that how we feel about the hammer. What do you guys think about it being sellable? I feel like a lot of sentiment I've read over different comments, chats, uh, different groups of people. I feel like the concept of it being sellable is what's putting a sour taste in it's way uh, better. people's mouth. Way but better I think sellable. it benefits a majority of players it being sellable. I, be, I feel like it benefits everybody by it being sellable. Because you're benefiting the endgame Correct. players because they're able to use it. And you're benefiting the new players because they can just sell it and put some money in their pockets so they can work on their next upgrade. Whether or not that's like... That, but that's my contention is I don't think that this is a good thing if if constantly getting free stuff so you can just log in every few months and just click gear and then log off is a good thing I don't think that's a good thing <laughs> if that's what your incentive is if you're like a player that maybe is going to stick around and keep playing if you click something sure I don't think that's a majority of the player base so that's why it kind of like that's why I've seen the sentiment around that like yeah, this kind of sucks that it's sellable versus if it was like your own personal hammer and you had to use it on something. That's what motivated a lot of new players when the first J hammers came out to go and grind to go buy a Tet Black Star to buy it out of the market and then tap it. That, like, that was a huge, I mean, Black Stars went really up in price for a hot minute on Tet because people well, were grinding to buy those as a brand new player versus I feel like it being sellable, obviously it's going to shoot to min until eventually it's going to shoot to max. And then you have this big old slingshot and then you're gonna have a bunch of buyers regret or sellers regret um i think that uh you have to think about the context in which this item was released because it seems kind of random right um it does and you have to think about mm -hmm. the context of the entire server so you have to look at it from other people's perspectives so in this case mm -hmm. the developers very clearly thought that there's just too much silver inflation on the market we've never gotten a hammer outside of a uh, calfion or heidel ball in the history of the game before um and so this is their way. It had to be sellable. 100%. It defeats the purpose if it's not sellable. Because see, then the rich do get richer because all the end game players get to use their enhancement on demos. And all the younger players, like the new players, are going to use it on like a pen ogre ring uh, or worse, right? Uh, in a lot of cases. And like the value of the, of the hammer would just not be as high. Versus the black star, you'll notice that like, again, this is a trend. With the normal hammers, they gave us a Tet Black Star for free so that even a new player could hit for a Pen Black Star, and it's worth about the same amount either way. You're getting the most value for a Pen Black hitting uh, that Jay's hammer for a Pen Black Star uh, that you could be uh, based on basically anything else in the game. Uh, they wanted to basically even out how valuable the hammer was across the board. And I really, again, I think that a new player. Um, getting this hammer is just an you know, objective W. You're basically giving free full pen everything to um, a new player, which is not the end of the world. It's still only like 580 gear score. They still have to do all their journals to get to 600. They still have to get all their coffers. They still have to do all of this stuff to try to catch up to um, uh, an end game 700 gear score player. And I think giving them that 20 bill boost to maybe get them to orcs uh, or something close to it, uh, it's not a bad, it, it's not a bad take. Um, at all i think it depends on how often they're going to do stuff like this because i feel like we just like a handful of months ago got a free black star and a free t10 or t9 sorry uh or a bunch of free t10 taps it's like it, i it just makes you wonder is this going to be like a common thing where every three to four months you can come back and get a free you know 20 30 bill and then log off and then log on again because i feel like i i don't know i i I definitely think that, like, you know, events and stuff that get you to play that you have to active, actively participate in the game to get benefits from are good things. Like, the most recent events, like we talked about in the previous podcast, are fantastic because you're, the players are grinding, and then they're getting even more benefits through grinding, whether it's through all these random fail stacks or whatever the redeemables are is, like, that's a positive. But it's hard to say, like... If we're just going to keep injecting um, money into players' pockets, what incentivizes them to grind if... Uh, if they know that they can log out and log back in, because I, I know a handful of people like that. Uh, I mean, I don't know every player, right? But I know a lot of people that literally just are at the point where they're like, 
uh, you know, some people like the handouts, obviously, because they don't play the game as much, so it's nice. But then you have players that want to play more, but they're de-incentivized by that kind of stuff. It, it just depends, I guess, what you value more. Who is de-incentivized? going to retain a player. Who is de-incentivized by getting an extra 40 billion silver? The value of your time that you spend, if exactly you, you know you same. value that, it, it depends. It's exactly like, the same. I, I, I disagree. I know I have talked to at least 10 plus people personally over the last two days about like, they don't feel incentivized because of stuff like this. If, if this is going to be an indication that this is going to happen more often, right? If this is like, so, oh, it's going to happen now and we're not going to see another hammer like this for years, then fine. But I've seen in multiple chats, yeah, more hammers. Yeah, more, more, more. Oh, we're going to get a hammer during the Heidel Ball and the Calcium Ball. And it's like, it's like, okay, we're just going to keep injecting speed to end game and well, you're then also... like, okay, you're you're at end game and you have nothing to do now what well you're always going to be injecting had... speed to end game go ahead jay i was going to say i have had people who um i heard the opinion that they came back for the hammer and then they hit something with it and now they're motivated to play ever than before and maybe that's also something that's happening and so, you know people are i'm sure there's some players do, like that you know I'm not saying there oh. isn't any players that aren't like that. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. But they, they are, I, I know exactly the opposite. They hit something and they're like, oh, finally I finished. Now I can stop playing again. And I'm like, that's mm, not, geez. that's not the goal. Well, <laughs> the, you need to understand that, to Blonde, those people were going to quit anyway. And those people are really not enjoying the game. Anybody that's quitting the game because they gave away a free accessory hammer that they can sell or use on their end uh, already hates the game anyway. They're not quitting because of the hammer. They're quitting because they just don't enjoy the video game anymore. And that's just kind of how it is. Um, yeah, I agree. Like, I agree. Yeah. The right, vast yeah. majority of players um, really enjoy updates like this. Uh, and it gets way more people to play the game um, like actively when you do stuff like this. Now, obviously mm. you can't do stuff like this all the time, but March is typically, or I guess April now, uh, is typically a really lull month for BDO. If you look at traditionally, yeah. like where the content creators sit, you can tell um, all of the content creators are typically down in February or March and April, unless they're doing something big like a tournament, Tech W. Um, but like, <laughs> um, but like most content creators are really far down. The player base is usually down bad and we're waiting. Like we're in like this anticipation phase, but they haven't really announced anything for the ball yet. Right. So like we're getting kind of close, but like, you know, the game's usually typically in a lull phase. So they release a hammer now to kind of increase uh, popularity of the game. Uh, and then later, you know, they, they have the ball. So like, I honestly think mm -hmm. it's not the worst move in the world. It also combats inflation. Some people are calling it deflation. Yeah, I, that's what I meant by combating uh, inflation. Uh, when I said that before, that's exactly what I meant. They were like, no, yeah. no, no, Blue, it's actually deflation. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's what that <laughs> means. Yeah, man, like that's, that's, how, that's how it works. Um, Inflation. <laughs> yeah, so like there was a lot, there's a lot of players that had like 600 billion silver, 1 trillion liquid silver, 2 trillion silver. Um, and that money just got vaporized. Um, and for essentially no gain, because those players are also the ones sitting with full pen depots already anyway. Yeah, I mean, listen, I love new players. That's why I bought 10 hammers, you know? I, uh, I'm i out there helping for the people. Out. Because I'm for them out. Blonde, I'm, he's doing I'm the math. For the welfare. Spend 40 bill, I make 200 bill immediately off of... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Like it's, yeah, and I'm going to fail it all, and that's, you know, that's the way it is, you know? I love how it's he says that, but he has Let's never go. failed an enhancement in his life. <laughs> yeah, I'm Not just trying to help time. new players. That's I care about the new players. That's why I, I bought them. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually like, Whoa. how do you guys feel? So yeah, again, we didn't finish our conversation earlier about the price. Right now, yeah. obviously mm. you had about 50,000 hammers introduced to the market at the same time. Um, and you have a lot of players that are still combating whether or not they want to sell them. But again, this is a limited time um, hammer deal thing. So like everyone only mm. gets one and everybody got it at the same time. So right now, although it's at min price, um, currently... We should see that hammer come up in price. I don't feel like it's going to hit max price. Um, uh, <laughs> maybe maybe in the next a month or two, maybe it hits max, but like I doubt it. I would say it probably hits something like $45 billion, uh, at the high end, um, if I had to guess, mainly because uh, the hammer's value... 
I haven't calculated it, but like it can't be, I would say it's probably somewhere around 42 to 45 billion off the top of my head if you if you consider Actually, buying you, the vendor I'm gonna clones. let Jay go ahead. I'm gonna let um, Jay talk, take away you, this was, one. But like it's probably answer. worth like 35 billion um, if you don't <laughs> you use the, the vendor clones. I posted? No, I literally um, don't look like at anything that you post for any reason because you're a loser. I think loser. he has you blocked. I never look at my post. Yeah. No. I think he has your Okay, well, look above your video ninja link because uh, this was uh, so Biohack posted a new video doing the calculations because I suck at math and most oh. of us probably suck at math, but he did the math. And this is apparently what it's worth when um, in comparison to vendor crons, costume crons, okay. a debo, selling a pen debo, buying a debo. Yeah, and so, so yeah, and so again, on North America at least for sure, I think that it hits maybe 45. Some people are going to get really impatient and want to click their um, uh, their Debo ahead of time. Usually when you're clicking Debo, the limiting factor is whether or not um, you can snipe outfits off the market. In North America, it's way easier. In EU, that's not mm. possible. So like in EU, I could see it going to max price. Um, but mm. in NA, I don't know, man. You're going to snipe some of the uh, the stuff and you're going to get some cron stones for yeah. free. So like, I don't know. Um like I, in NA, I don't know if it's actually going to go to max price, but we'll see. Um, it, it, either way, I've held on to both my hammers on both servers um, because I don't know. I just uh, just mm -hmm. wait and see what happens. So usually, uh, the best thing to do when something like this comes out is to wait and see. Too many people just kind of yeah. sell immediately uh, or buy immediately. They end up losing billions of silver, either selling yeah. their hammer too early or selling their hammer um, or like buying too many hammers too early. I can't. Like, I'm sure that a lot of people thought that the price was going to go up. Oh, this is going to go to max price. And so they wasted tens of, if not hundreds of billions of silver buying the hammers at 35 bill uh, or whatever, instead of buying them at their mm -hmm. min price, which is currently, what, 27, 28? 27. Yeah, 27.5. Yeah. Um. So, like... I think that like as the supply kind of dies off, especially over the next couple of weeks, uh, you'll see the hammer start to climb in price, and then uh, you'll see it peak out uh, in the mid to high 40s probably. Hopefully, uh, it goes to max price so that I can get uh, my quickie 50 bill uh, on both servers because I'm 100% going to sell it if it hits 50 bill. Um, if it gets over yeah, about 42, I'm selling it. Um, and that's as someone that I, I'm on my Debo grind. I'm, I, don't, I don't care. I would rather finish my... Um, I would rather finish my life skilling set out and then start to buy costumes mm -hmm. for cronstones uh, because like I don't feel like it's really worthwhile when you compare it to the costume for crons. Again, if I'm selling it for 50 bill, I can almost get an extra attempt out of it. If I just do cronstones, I, yeah, it can I downgrade think it. I think if you're market PvPing, sure. Like if you're going to sit there with your market open all day and like fight over costumes in the market, sure. But as someone which is probably the most common player who's just going to put a pre-order on a costume and then go afk and not like sit there with the market open and look at it I i've had a pre-order on a costume for literally three months and i've gotten like maybe 10 over the course of three months i think that like for your regular person who isn't going to market pvp for that stuff i feel like uh it, it yeah like if you can always get costumes then sure it's going to be a little bit less but the non-degrading, I feel like people are really not valuing the non-degrade chance. If you're looking at, like, what is it? It's like 16 bill for vendor crons to tap a pendebo or something like that versus 32, 33 bill. Okay, this thing's sitting at 27, and they were at 37, and you don't degrade. The amount of money that I've seen lost when people degrade a pen rec attempt, and then they go, they, of okay, course. so they do their pen attempt, it goes to try, it goes to duo, then they got to get it back to try, then it goes back to duo, then they go to tet, then they fail tet, then they fail tet, and then they got to go back and then forth. It's like, I, well, I know. Mine way went straight to base would... the first time. I went from right. tet to straight to base on my birthday. I, it was yeah, tet, I, then I, it was try, then it was duo, <laughs> then it was pry, and then I it mean, went to base. Yeah, Immediately, yeah, that bam, 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 bam. Like, you go watch me and Garnier sing. I mean, I went to base at least four different times going for the five pen attempts that we did. Like, people are not really valuing... Like, it's, what, ten more hours of grinding for ten more bill silver at a bill an hour? Like, piece of cake, bro. Just pay the difference. I I think they're definitely going to be shooting up. They're going to be max. They're going to be sitting on pre-order. because I'm hoping people are so. Obviously I'm not that... in the right mindset right now because they're just like, oh, it's in massive supply. Of course we're fine. <laughs> like, exactly, so. yeah. Oh, no, now's the time to buy. Now it's a buyer's yeah. market, mm -hmm. right? But if you wait a month or two, it's yeah. a seller's market, I think. I think it gets up to 50 bill and you are selling. Um, because again, I trust Biohack's um, calculation on this, especially if, um, unless you're on EU. You're on EU, you're probably not selling it 
at all. If you're going for devos, you're just not going to sell it. But like, if you're below 680 gear score, you should be selling it basically mm -hmm. every time anyway. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. It's not even a question. Yeah. Uh, it's stupid to tell somebody not to sell it uh, if they're below, if their gear score doesn't start with the number seven and it's three digits. You know what it, I mean? It just, I think it just depends what stage you're at in the game. If you're only able to play like an hour a day and you're not going to progress very fast in this game, which is okay because the game is a marathon, not a sprint. You could take all the time in the world because the game ain't going anywhere. I think that if you have a very small amount of time, the the time it will take for that thing to grow in price will be a lot quicker than you think. So it probably wouldn't be worth selling at min when you could sell it at max. But if you're someone that's playing a little bit more than a few hours a day and you're going to progress pretty fast, 20 bill now is going to be way better than 50 bill a month or two or three down the line. So it really just depends, I guess, what kind of stage you're at and what your play style is like. Because I feel like if you're playing maybe an hour a day or only a handful of hours a week, maybe, and you're playing pretty casually, that 50 bill is going to be way worth more than the, the 20 bill now. Um, depending yeah. on what you do with your time and uh -huh. then again that's it that's if like you're doing like a min max strat if you're just chilling on the game i mean you kind of do whatever you want but you know you can kind of look at the market and be like oh okay well, i can wait a little bit and it will go up so yeah um, it just depends yeah no um again yeah i think we've kind of spoken our piece on this let's look at our mm -hmm. second uh subject uh, our second subject here which is actually <laughs> the new pity enhancement system Mm -hmm. um, it's a twofer, bro. <laughs> twofer. Yeah, it's a twofer. The a new pity enhancement system that they have teased. We haven't seen anything about it, but they teased it. Um, yeah, it's going to be like on the a global trailer apps, recently. Um, it should be on the Global Labs tonight. tonight. Yeah, I am yeah. basically going to be covering it immediately the moment that the Global Labs come out. Uh, yeah, I am going to be yeah. looking at it, and I'll have the video up on for you guys on YouTube uh, hours after that, mm -hmm. that releases or minutes after that releases, basically. Um, but yeah, they are um, in introducing a new pity enhancement system um, to the game. To uh, as a, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's all enhancement systems in the game. So if you fail a certain amount of times, they're just going to give you the enhancement. It, it, hold on, that's my question. What do you think this pity system is? Is that what you think it is? Yeah, that's what that's okay. got to be, right? That's what you think. Yeah. Hey, what do you What do you think it is? Um, I mean it. I mean, it says pity, and then, you know, when I think of pity, I think of, like, infinite potions, where you're eventually gonna get it if you're, like, super unlucky, because the pity mm -hmm. system was added for that specific reason, so I, I can't think of anything else. What do you, you, what do you think it would be? Enhancement? You think it's just gonna be a guaranteed enhancement? Yeah, after yeah, you I fail certain amount of times, I feel like it's just gonna guarantee it, no? Yeah. I think you, it's going to be it's... a, um, it's not gonna be that. What I think it's, think gonna, it's gonna be... Gonna be... Uh, after, I don't know, whatever the arbitrary amount of attempts on the item, I think it's going to be you just get like a bonus percent. So it's not guaranteed, but you're getting a pretty extra, substantial extra bonus. So like, so like, say you're on your pin Black Star and it's 4% on like a 220 and you do, I don't know, 15 attempts Cron, I guess. I don't know if it's going to count whether or not it's Cron or not Cron or just Raw or whatever. Um, I think that what's going to happen is like after 10, 15, whatever the, again, arbitrary number they put to it, it's going to give you like a 5 or 10% bonus. Obviously, it's going to be numbers equated on the item. Like, if it's like a pen boss armor, it'll probably go up like a lot higher than something like a pen black star, which will probably go up like, you know, a pen boss armor could be like 10, 20, 30, 40% versus like a pen black star would be like a 10 to 15, maybe. Um, I think that's how it's going to work. I don't think it's going to be a guaranteed enhancement. Mm. I feel like, um, I think PA wants to stay away from that. But oh, they no, do I... want players to feel rewarded for their tap, so... It, because the way it seemed and the way that that like the, it looks, it's like I, I I don't know the design, the visual design just seems like you're filling up a bar to reach a certain point where it's like okay now you're really boosted and you're gonna get higher enhancement rates rather than oh you filled the bar now it's just it hands it to you I don't know yeah I well, don't know wouldn't it feel worse if you had like a like a fifty percent bonus and then you still <laughs> no I think you know, somebody in chat. Somebody in chat said something like that I think is like basically spot on uh, in this case. And that is they have to release the game in China, which means there can't be any RNG, like like permanent RNG in the game. And so I really mm. do think that it is a guaranteed enhance every time because they can't release the game in China with the enhancement system the current like currently the way that it is. Mm. Because otherwise, uh, it sounds like a scam. People could like spend thousands and thousands of dollars and get nothing. Um, essentially, like there needs to be a gate um, on that stuff. And again, 
I, I, I think it's because they, they really want their game to be released in China. Um, so I don't know. Maybe. I think Bon, I couldn't be, can't tell you you're more wrong in this case. Sorry, buddy. Um, <laughs> I, I really do think that it's basically a guaranteed enhancement system for people that, um, fail enhancements countless times. Um, like I think that it'll probably be much lower than like, like it's a, if it's a 15% chance, it maybe gives it to you on the, the 10th attempt or something, right? Or the 15th attempt or something. Uh, who knows? Um, but it shouldn't be, um, so the math. I mean, I guess it depends on how it works, but how would you then need a fail stack ever again? If, oh, after 10 attempts, you just get it. Why don't you just do it on a plus one fail stack? Well, I think you probably have to be over, like you have to have a certain number of attempts over this number. If you have a certain Maybe number of attempts, your fail stack. Um, like yeah, you, yeah, might consume your fail it, stack too. You consumes it, you yeah. Know? Like it's like you have to be over for a black star, for example. Like the number, of the, the game will count the number of attempts you have over two hundred fail stacks or something, and it counts towards your pity. But if you do it on like a one fifty, it doesn't give you a pity stack, um, or something like that. It's really easy. Otherwise, people would just like throw it in on a zero and just click ten times. <laughs> Hmm. and we're done hmm. right um i think uh i mean this is an objective win for the game right like a big reason why people try to stay away from black desert for is for two reasons typically mm -hmm. it's uh the game is pay to win um and then they go play something that's definitely not pay to win like maple story um um or <laughs> oh, it's no. um or it's because of the enhancement system uh is too punishing so um I don't know. I think this is just an objective W for new players and veteran players alike. Uh, apparently, mm -hmm. it's gonna it'll go retroactively to January first. So they've been tracking your game logs um, from since yeah, January from 1st. January, like three months ago. They've been tracking it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, they're gonna I, I give you the... pities and, um, up until that point. Go ahead, Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think this is just a natural thing that MMOs eventually introduce systems to make the game easier and accessible over time. Because we've yep. seen pity systems for infinite potions eventually. They they finally added fail stacks to T10s after like four years and stuff like that. And I kind of view this pity system for enhancements as something on the similar wavelength. So um yeah. This is this is it. We're Jay, here. <laughs> Jay is like this does it. not affect me at all. This is I not. don't care. <laughs> Like I Jay's need a like, guaranteed pen demo ring. <laughs> Blonde's disappointed because he's had the pity enhancement system for years, except that his pity is he clicked the button one time and it gave it to him. You know what I, I mean? Think so. Were there um anything was there anything else in the current enhanced system that could use some improvement or quality of life? Because for me, I do a lot of like fail stacking, and I notice sometimes that um this I mean this only affects people who've done the 30k quest, but I have plus five permanent fail stacks and that kind of ruins my fail stacking sometimes and i wish i could like toggle it off what do you mean it ruins on. your fail stacking sometimes well it's like you know it's increasing my my stack when i want to fail you know like suffering from success and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and so what if i could reduce my chances even further you know <laughs> <laughs> uh it's classic that on sounds like something yeah. a republican would say to be honest, <laughs> some first world upper class no. loser that just hates the poor people. Um, God, Jay. You know what's another? Okay, here's another thing. And not that I've ever done this before because I'm an elite BDO enjoyer, but maybe, you know, how like you're when you're repairing Reblath or Militia gear. Um, again, not that I've ever done this before, but sometimes people accidentally use their memory fragments to repair Reblath and, you know, it feels really bad. And maybe that could, you know, they could remove that function, you know, just, I'm just looking out for those people, you know, so. I think that fail stacking is just too tedious. <laughs> to keep it a buck. Oh, I you want to skip the whole fail stacking process altogether. No, I think it takes too long. Yeah. I think it it's takes small. a really, short really, really long time. Um, like if... Um, if you want to enhance, like, I mean, there's a reason that biohack can literally just go all day enhancing. And it's because the vast majority of his stream is just fail stacking with Reblath over mm. and yeah. over and over again. Uh, that, that's like, why I just will not do any Reblath enhancing. I think it's one of the most miserable things. So you do the miserable. Game. I, 
Yeah. I'll just so deal do with think, doing oh. the inefficient method or something more fun because that is the most unfun thing in the game. Do you I think, think so? Okay, I was gonna I was gonna lead into because hammers are sellable. Do you think maybe we should sell fail stacks like sell 150 stacks, sell 200 stacks? Are we maybe we we're at that point in video in our in our, in our timeline? <gasps> we're at that point in our timeline. I think that. <laughs> Like well, they made methods for it, right? We literally can boost up, you know, we get so many free stacks, then you have the boost 100, 200. Oh, I guess the origin whatever. of Dark Hunger is kind of the way to do that. Right. But it's... You just literally grind it up. Yeah. yeah, like I think that you can you can already kind of do that uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I think you have to make it really expensive, though, if you're just going to buy fail stacks outright. Um, mm -hmm. I think you have to make it pretty expensive. But like, again, that's why like people don't understand that Biohack spends all this time enhancing and what they see uh is oh my god um what they see is somebody like oh he hits a pen ogre in like a seven hour stream he'll hit a pen ogre two or three times um but like what i see is somebody spending nine hours um to make like i don't know 30 billion silver um because like mm. you know they they just see the pen ogre but you don't see all the fails that come before that you don't see uh the yeah. fail stack loss and then all the fail stacking and stuff and then the amount of time it takes you uh to do that i just I just feel like enhancers just don't enjoy the game. Um, like they just sit there in that enhancement window all day and that's all they do. Um, and it's just, to me, that just looks so miserable. I guess maybe they like the enhancement no. system. Maybe but they're like... having fun. Yeah, may... <laughs> well, profit is fun to a certain point and you'll do a certain amount of something you don't want to do to reach a certain amount of profit. I just think that like we have a system where you can boost, what is it? It has to be a 100 or a 150 stack to like what? 300 is the max or whatever for the the new system i'm really surprised they haven't just introduced like a low-end spot like uh like orcs or or giants or something that has like a oh get like a zero to 50 or a 50 to 100 boost or something like that because i feel like i mean i, I would personally love that because i i will never sit in town and read laugh i i will be i will wait till the fail stack comes out or one of the events just gives you the fail sex because I truly do think that that I, I I don't do things that I don't find fun in the game. If I don't enjoy it, I'm not going to do it. So I yep. only do the things that I find fun because I think if you're playing a video game, your goal should be to have fun. It shouldn't be to be miserable. So mm -hmm. I'm going to actively do the things that I enjoy. And uh, if it's something I just don't like, I'm not going to do it. And I'm just like, yeah, that is not fun. Oh, I'm exactly so I am really way, surprised yeah. that. Like they haven't phased out that they literally made methods to make it easier to degrade gear to upgrade, rather than give us methods to get those things. I, I thought that was so. Oh, weird. the day you had to go red and then die to the guard. <laughs> you had to die to a guard to degrade your gear, <laughs> and then forget you were oh, on that man. character, forget you had some gear or something, and then you got screwed. Yeah, it's very odd. Um. Very odd. Okay, all right. So as we move forward here, I do want to get to our last topic is that we have spent 47 minutes talking about the other. Um, oh, my goodness. Um, Crystal Restoration Pay to Win. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So oh, Crystal Restoration Pay to Win. For those of you that don't know, they've introduced an item on the Pearl Shop, I think, on K Korea. Um, but Korea, like, yes. Yeah, not us yet, but I'm sure that we will get it. Um, mm -hmm. That allows you to get three more Crystal Restoration slots per year. Um, yeah, and it's, it's like $5 or something for one crystal restoration, isn't it? 20. It's about 20 according to the it's $20 the, because, per crystal. Um, if you, um, so it's 490 pearls in Korea, but that's not equivalent. Their pearls is different from our pearl value. Okay. So what's the uh, conversion? Somebody calculated what it was about. Uh, it was about, it's about 4.25 times their amount so whatever five times four is about 20 dollars so it's 20 bucks, 20 bucks to 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 uh, are you kidding me it's just not worth it yeah. at all is this a joke this is the most predatory <laughs> game practice i've seen in forever yeah, I, like first mm -hmm. of all i don't think anybody's happy about it <laughs> i think it's super unethical i think it's really mm -hmm. really unethical um to to make it that expensive um like what for a system that should be like crystal restoration Crystals shouldn't even be removed when you die anyway. Um, like, like that, like this is just a joke, right? Like now we're charging money to fix the system that's been broken in the first place. This is like uh, marketing, predatory marketing 101. Um, I'd be stunned if China allowed them uh, to do this or allow it on the, 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 the Chinese server. $20 a crystal is not worth it at all. Even if it was $5, I'm not paying it. Maybe if it was a dollar. 
I might consider doing it. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Uh, I think PA's done a good job for a long time not being super predatory. I feel like the only thing people have argued that you've had to buy in a long time was like the 10s. So I've been like, oh, okay. Like, I don't have to buy this deal. I don't have to buy that. Like, you might be incentivized to buy a costume because it looks cool, but mm -hmm. video hasn't made you feel like, oh, man, I need to do this or else I'm done for. You know, even like the, the daily pass, it looks pretty good. Or the season pass, it's like, oh, it looks pretty good. But like, I don't need that. I, I, I'll live without it, right? I, I'll be fine. But I feel like this is definitely one of the... <laughs> one of the more predatory things they've done in a hot minute that's blatantly obvious. Um, yeah. It's kind of messed up. I mean, they're... Definitely, yeah. Not they're just going to say, that. yeah, there's free. Oh, you could get three for free. And yeah, that's great. But like, honestly, the reason that there are three for free are not because... You, the reason, this is why I think it's very predatory because and Because you sat there and it's, argued with them until they gave well, it to us. Well, no. The reason we're getting three for free is because their servers just break sometimes. Sometimes you just, just disconnect mm -hmm. and like you you lose functionality and you die and you lose a crystal. The reason that you mm -hmm. have three free restorations is because the game just dies sometimes and you lose crystals like for shits and giggles. Like and now they're going to well, sell the solution to like this is again mm -hmm. create a problem sell the solution. Um pretty pretty marketing 101 but like this is not something I would expect from Perlibus. They don't do this very often. So to see them do this on on this particular thing uh is very strange to me. It's so weird. And to be clear, no one should ever be spending $20 if guys, like news flash, you could just spend $20 on like an outfit, sell it and get your crystal. Yeah, I think like, you have to break like, it down to like what's what is the purpose? Like why why do crystals break in the first place? Well, because they drop in certain grind spots so you can grind them and sell them, so it's economy for player to player. And then like um yeah, there are disconnects and that does happen. But like the incentive is like the reason why crystals break is that you're not accessing areas that you can't reach. Like it's technically a death penalty to like otherwise people just int at certain grind spots and just int over and over and over again. So like when we look at it from a perspective of like you know, crystals are now dropping from, like, guild activities and other things to incentivize players. I think that, like, crystal breaking sucks, but it's, like, a way to circumvent money into the economy to make them drop, to make them funnel. If they just removed, like, the way that crystals were designed in the game and made it so that you just got them through questing or something so that they were permanent on your account, then that'd be fine. But the fact that they made it as part of the economic part of certain grind spots makes it really difficult to get rid of, so they want to keep... It happening i just my personal view on like crystals and so like i think that yeah this is super predatory and this shouldn't be done and it's really messed up but i think that like crystals in general shouldn't break if they're not listed in the market because it's just a purse it's a, it's a tax right you're you're getting taxed for either messing up disconnecting and having an unstable mm -hmm. internet connection grinding somewhere that's going to kill you or you went to an area that you shouldn't be at yet right so like if it's not listed in the market, it shouldn't break. Because like if it's listed in the market, then I could just rebuy it. The fact that there's some crystals that when you break it, it's not listed in the market and you don't have a backup and there's no way to get one back other than waiting on a pre-order. I think that personally is the most messed up part of the system. Mm -hmm. I have tens of billions of silver. I cannot buy this crystal because it's not listed because it's a rare crystal or nobody wants to sell it or it's not worth selling or whatever. And I think that is more the messed up thing. If it's just sitting in the market, I don't have a problem with a crystal breaking because I messed up or I was playing unsafely or I did something. Um, but this, yeah, this pearl shop thing is like, it's super weird because I feel PA has been on a really good streak and this is just one of those things where like, I don't know, in their heads, they probably thought it was a good idea and they probably thought players would be like, oh yes, you know, I get more crystal back. But like, I don't think they're realizing like the feedback on crystals breaking in general feels like a crappy practice in the first place. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Um, uh, I mean... But but crystal the crystal restoration isn't for every single time you die and every crystal you break. The crystal restoration is for like probably your gear and tier and nothing else. Like you really shouldn't be using on anything else because you can buy those things or maybe the macalods if you really care. Um, but I don't know. I think that that's just like a, oh man, I disconnected from the server and I lost my gear and that sucks. Everything else should basically be viable in the market the way it's designed. Um, I think there's a common consensus of just like. It just it feels really shitty that you've you just literally lost money for whatever reason, yep. right? Even if it for was sure. a little bit, even if it was like ten mil, it like it still feels bad to just lose your money. Feels that bad to die. Working. I mean, yeah, yeah, feels bad to go backwards in progress because 
either you lagged out, the servers died, or whatever, mm -hmm. or like you just hold honestly on, hold, hold died on. in PvE. Hold on, hold on. You lagging or dying because the servers crapped out is like the bottom tier. What happens more than often is people go to areas they shouldn't be and they played unsafe. Let's just <laughs> don't disguise it well, as like yeah, it's but always that's not 90 what the server crystal, issues. That's that's but not that's the way not, it is. But no, but see, that's not. But at least three times a year, you're you can attribute some of your death to. Um, sometimes for sure to your Definitely. crystal loss that's what the sometimes. three original crystal losses were for that's what crystal restoration is I, kind of for I it's agree. not for like the normal for, death stuff right but i think that's what people did not now, use it that way people there. died because they messed up and then they used those crystals they didn't use it because they disconnected well even still blonde you're defending thing. well even still blonde you're defending a, a position that says okay yeah crystal loss is okay for the game in any I, I, situation yeah that's the way they've designed it yeah like <laughs> yeah the, but like so the, the what penalty I think, for dying, well, what, right? well no what people are upset about is that like um they prolibus should have reworked the crystal system so that like yeah if they just remove crystal loss agree. if they just remove crystal loss from the game yeah it would break the market a little bit so yeah they're gonna have to do an True. extra step to fix it but it's super yeah easy to do this pardon my french but like I I, this makes me angry like uh, they they have to just literally take like three days of brainstorming and implementation to to figure out a system that wouldn't break the market that would remove crystal loss from the game um yeah sure maybe you'd have a punishment for dying but like it doesn't have to be five to nine billion silver because you lagged out or because you went somewhere like some you, you you say people went somewhere they weren't supposed to. That's what the mm -hmm. developers have been encouraging us to do, Blonde, for the last, like, three years. Their entire yep. idea of high-end PvE is high-risk, high-reward. They've said it time and time again. You cannot punish a player for 9 billion silver. If they, like if you lose a Garen's and a Rebellious, it's it's over, man. It's, yeah. it, it, no, it's I agree. Over. I, I'm just like, looking within the bounds of what we have. If, if like, yeah, in in my perfect world, we'd have a rework crystal system where it was completely different, but we don't. I'm just saying, like, for what we have right now, this is this is the way it is, right? Like, I mean, I yeah, ideally, there's a ton of systems in the game I'd like to rework, and I wish they were different. But I'm just saying, within the bounds of like what crystals are right now and what they are and what, how we have to deal with it, like, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I just, I, like, they, this is just a lazy solution, and it's like, it's a pay-to-win yeah, marketing no, I, scam. I Instead of fixing a fundamental problem with your game, you decided yeah. that you were going to do this instead, right? No, like, yeah, I, they, I they could have alleviated the crystal loss by saying, hey, um, you get these three free crystal restorations, and then after that, you can go to a market and then, like, pay <laughs> half the price of the marketplace silver uh, and get your crystal back. It's like a million other right. systems they could do, right? You, the... you durability, or you pay for protection, or you pay to redeem it, like the silver cost of the market. Yeah, I mean, there's a million other methods they could add, and I, I definitely wish they would, because, it, again, I know what, if it, I've lost crystals that aren't listed in the market, and I have billions of silver to buy them, but I can't. That's a really stupid system, and I just don't think it's, it's, it's just so weird. Um, but no, I, 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 I just, I'm talking within the reference of what we have, like, I mean, if we, if every issue we have with the game we turned into a forum post and upvoted, I mean, we'd have some changes, but no know. one wants to go to the forums because no every one wants time to go to the forums, every cause... single time you go to the forum, number one, wanna... the forums are moderated. They'll just delete something if they feel like it's too um, uh, like controversial it. or whatever. They don't like it. Number one, yeah. number two, and that's why, by the way, the Koreans use Inven because Perlabus doesn't control Inven, uh, and they can just post what they want. And more right, right, stuff right. about the game gets changed because of the posts on Inven than gets changed through the forums uh, in KR. Nobody uses the forums. Because, one, it's moderated by Perlibus. Two, um, nobody can log into the forum. If I go to the forum right now, you know the big thing that's going to keep me from using the forum? The fact that I have to use my two-factor every if I, single time. I have to log in time. through Steam and I gotta, then two-factor. Exactly. It's so yeah, awesome. you got to... You got to log in, then you got to use your two-factor, then it doesn't take you back. Like, it's so unintuitive. Whoever designed uh, the website has uh, mental illness. So, like, you log in, you use your two-factor, uh, and then it doesn't take you back to the web page you were on. So you have to navigate all the way back to that king web page. So unless you feel strongly enough about something that you're willing to spend five minutes of your life to go click the upvote button one time. And in most cases, you know nothing's going to account from it anyway. So, like, why? Why? Like, it's, it's just, like, nobody is ever going to use it. Um, and, like, I, 
I wish we had uh, a system like Inven that would work. Sadly, our um, Black Desert Online subreddit is run by Fedora wearing neck beards who will ban you every single time uh, you mention the words P, V, and P in the same sentence with each other. Um, and all like, there's just like our moderators on Reddit are just horrible people uh, in general um, that are like super power hungry. So we made a new subreddit that's like BDO official or whatever. It's like r slash BDO official. And that does get used and stuff, but Perlibus isn't really checking that as much. Um, like Perlibus is not going to change something just because it was on Reddit, unless the entire community is using it a lot like KR is using Invent. Everyone in KR mm -hmm. uses Invent. They check it every day. Everyone is upvoting stuff. Everyone is like watching it. Um, and so they watch that. But like we don't really have anything like that, uh, a forum like that, because sadly... Our subreddit is moderated by morons. Um, the new subreddit isn't quite popular enough to make anything happen yet. Um, and we don't have anything like Inven uh, in the West uh, that we can use. So, like, yeah, uh, the forums are kind of a joke. But that was kind of a tangent, too. I don't know. What do you guys think about the forums? Um, it definitely does not get enough attention. It's not, it's not user-friendly, so it's really yeah. tough to get on. And um, mm. it's so hard, I think, for PA to weed out what is some valid criticism versus what is some crazy criticism. Because I've been on the forums in the past, and um, some of the people that type posts there are very uh, oh not my God, in the dude. same reality. Bro, it's, I, uh, it's crazy I, it's, sometimes, it, son. It, like... it's, hard to put the, it's hard to put the entire blame on the PA because like, I see what people post in the forums, and so I'm like... I don't know how you have to get through all the delusion to get to like a real post. Like, you know, if people aren't like within the same reality of understanding a concept of a topic or balance or, or the game in general, I, I don't really know how you fight through that. So I imagine it's got to be tough for them, but I, I just, it's a very different type of player. I feel like there's a better way to connect your community other than doing forum posts, even though it's the only way that I think that NA and EU and non Korean speaking Pearl Abyss teams can put that through because it's player submitted so they can show hey on our website on our forum the players are saying this and i've seen more people more content creators backed up by chat and followers and, and people in the community um posting stuff i mean jay just recently posted something about replath which was pretty cool um and i think that's maybe the way to do it you know banding together get everybody to upvote and participate well, that's well, see, Perlibus does it, not like have to be done that way. Well, Perlibus doesn't like content creators uh, in this game. In, in North America and EU, the NAEU office understands the importance of content creators. I feel they support their content creators. It is what it is. But the KR office has removed their partner program for content creators, and they've shown time and time oh, yeah. again that they will just remove a content creator. It doesn't matter how big the content creator is. If if there's any sort of controversy or they say anything bad, but they'll just remove that person um from existence uh on the server um and unless somebody like asman picks it up and literally like shits on pearl abyss they're not going to do anything about it like they just banned that guy with absolutely no investigation or anything they just banned him because the community was like hey he exploited they didn't do an investigation and they banned him and that guy had streamed bdo for like countless hours uh it just didn't matter like they they think that it, it's very clear that they think that content creators are just a, a net negative for their game, for their publicity and stuff, and they don't value them. And so, and that's reflected on the forums where you have most of the up, upvoted forum posts that are like dramatically upvoted are promoted by content creators, but Perlibus doesn't care because if a content creator makes the post, they're probably not gonna listen to it uh, because they know, oh, well, it's really only getting upvotes because this person has fans. Like, I'm not I'm not joking. Like, what, didn't um, Choice as one of the largest upvoted forum posts in the history of the forums it has like fifteen thousand upvotes or some obnoxious shit he made this amazing post about rbf and how to fix red battlefield and some of the changes that needed to 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 kind of go into it everyone agreed to it uh i don't really care who you are that many upvotes it's not just because he's a content creator that was just an amazing post right everybody saw it mm. everybody upvoted it and do you know what came from that nothing you know what perlibus said heard ya that's it that's it that's all i heard that, that's all i got right like um my reaction cam was tiny there but like but like that's that and then johnny five posted about like the resist or the um um what was it the one-sided deck changes that had thousands of upvotes too they did they said heard you don't care um but like they've uh, like a lot of people 
have posted on the forums and it seems that if you're a content creator and you make the post uh it's not going to get listened to if you're a normal person and you make the post you have like a one percent chance of it getting listened to and that's why people don't want to use the forums i will say that recently it's gotten a little bit better because they've started posting like hey this change came about because of this person's forum post right that does help a little mm -hmm. bit but like what about like the 400 other forum posts did we even look at those or like what's the deal with that now i agree with blonde that like some people uh, on the forum have mental illness um and shouldn't be listened to but like it's gonna be like that on any, any platform you have to just like if there's enough people reading it you have to trust that the audience is just gonna upvote and downvote stuff um based on what they want you know what i mean like it's Mm -hmm. uh, a post that's like really really terrible is probably not going to see much uh get much visibility but like i don't know about you guys have you ever seen a content creator supposed to actually get listened to on the forums uh i think it's hard to say whether or not something gets listened to because i think that like it, it does listen to mean we've actually seen a change based on that yes, specific a change thing. based on that for a forum post yes that's what that means because see they do it based on other people's forum yeah. posts with way less upvotes the problem is that I've seen tons of posts and then I've also seen tons of changes happen in the game and it's hard to say. Like, I'm sure plenty of content creators have either said or maybe posted about something, but like, I can't, I don't have a tally sheet that says every single forum post versus every single change. I think there's plenty of things that the community talks about and then I think... probably some of the community does it. But personally, I, I don't go on the forum, so I wouldn't have seen it. So I would know. I think the way that... Know. Um, uh, the KR office or just like uh, Prolibus in general looks at the forums is they're going to read probably, they probably read almost every forum post that gets posted, but the only ones that really get listened to or, or translate into feedback, it has nothing to do with how many upvotes you have, uh, and everything to do with what the suggestion is. And if they feel that that suggestion, oh, wait, that's actually a good idea. They'll just implement it regardless of how many upvoted it, uh, it has. Like, like they're just going to see it and... Like, that's just the way that it goes. And that's the biggest problem with the forums is it doesn't feel that the community actually has a voice. So, like, it could have 2,000 upvotes, and then there's another forum post that has two upvotes, but that's the thing that got... But that's the thing that got through that the developers were willing to change. But the developers are not going to be willing to change. Some of the bigger stuff that have the... The, the posts that have the massive amount of updates are like the controversial ones that the community wants changed, but the developers really want to hold their ground on and don't want to change anything. Um, and those are the ones that they choose not to listen to most of the time. Um, so like, I don't know, man. Like we need a better system for providing feedback in general. Uh, uh, that or they need to make the forums actually practical uh, so that we can use them. Well, because we want players to feel listened to, RuneScape does this system where they have a poll. They have a poll boost. So anything gets kind of like submitted to the player base via poll if they care about the majority of what the players want, right? Um, and they literally like poll a bunch of random stuff. Like, do you guys want this or that added to the game? Do you guys want this or that, you know, thought about? Do we want another skill added to the game? This, like, I, I think it'd be kind of interesting. I don't, I don't know how successful it would be, but um, I'm really interested to see if we had something similar to that. Like, what. Uh, what our systems would look like if uh, people were able to, yeah, submit stuff or uh, get feedback that way. They did have a way. poll on the, remember the protection changes before, like a while back, they had like a yeah, poll yeah, for yeah. that. And I think that, I think that generated a lot of conversation. That and was it good. it reached yeah. a lot of people. And yeah. so I, th I we should just do it again. <laughs> well, the thing is that like in, in RuneScape, it literally is like at every major city, you have a literal poll booth where you can see whatever's being talked about currently or whatever's oh, being done. So they should just add it in game. Like they add the poll right. in game. Like there's like exactly. a little board like and a, everybody could vote yeah, inside. They've added tons of these systems that like let you look at, um, you know, your methods. So I, I, I don't think it would really be, I don't know, that difficult, would it? Uh, yeah. It might just be that difficult. I mean, they they just recently added like five new menus at the top of our screen. <laughs> What's one to click a button and tally the numbers? I mean, they can even see how many mobs we've killed or whatever we've done, you know? So, I mean, I, sure, they could say it's difficult, but I'm, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I just don't feel like... So I've thought about doing a segment on my stream where I go through the forums, um, at the forum posts, and I encourage people to upvote certain stuff. I read it, I give my feedback on it, and I encourage people to upvote uh, and stuff like that. But... I do strongly feel that if I do that, Perlibus will see it and they'll be like, well, it only got votes because Blue um, shed light on it. And so we're just going to take this with a grain of salt, right? Like, again, it's always the content creators of the devil. Um, 
like this is this is only popular because a content creator uh tried to make it popular right like they and again i don't feel like the upvotes really have an impact on the system um at all like period so Oh, well, everything just basically needs to be changed there. But it looks like we are a little out of time. Where were we at? 908? Yeah, no, it's about an hour. We're good to go. Um, mm. So, boys, do we want to do closing thoughts here? Yeah. Uh, closing thoughts is um, hammers, awesome, cool, um, free money. Um, I'm Jake Good. <laughs> be before the tea. You can yeah. the series as Jake <laughs> Jay's like big money, sell lots. Money. You know, like <laughs> you know. Okay, all right, and blonde. Uh, the hammer's interesting. Definitely, uh, April Fool's joke. Very surprised. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> and the crystal thing is kind of lame. And uh, yeah, you know, uh, the the new enhancement system, the bonus to it. That's going to be interesting to see whether it's a guaranteed or a extra bonus i'm really curious to see i feel like you know we're going to see some people like biohack looking at some weird uh new number calculations if i can click a pin black star in five ten taps you know how much money can i make if i buy sell buy sell that'll be interesting so we'll see um you know i, I don't know but uh catch me at twitch.tv slash bomber grinding uh olens for my merger piece right on uh, soon right <laughs> <laughs> never Talk it's like never gonna happen <laughs> Oh, it, probably. Uh, and I'm Blue Squadron. There's always something happening on my channel. Um, two new YouTube videos typically every single day, and I've been starting to crank out guides like crazy too. Um, the new 2024 uh, upgraded uh, gear and progression guide should come out tomorrow uh, alongside, again, the Global App Batch Notes uh, rundown, which is going to be kind of big this week, so make sure you check that out. Um, the podcast is always on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, guys, so make sure um, you go give that a follow. Uh, if you're on your way to work listening to it, uh, make sure you hit that with that follow button so we know uh, that you're interested in listening on those platforms, guys. From all of us here at the Old Moon Podcast, have a great rest of your week.